and welcome to another episode of your vlog series here on Media Insight. I'm your host, Christy Kalising. Now, this edition of your vlog series will be extra special because we're approaching our 10th anniversary celebrations come next month. So I'll be chatting with our illustrious, dynamic, not to mention hardworking and ever beautiful CEO of our company, Alison Demas. So let's get going. Welcome, Alison. Thank you so much, Christy. And before we get into it, let me extend congratulations. I mean, 10 years down in this business, that's a long time. But before we get yeah. any further into it, mm -hmm. what exactly does Media Insight do? All right, good question, Christy. So Media Insight, what we do is essentially we let brands know what is being said about them across different types of media, whether it be traditional media, social media, digital channels. We let them know what their competitors are doing, what has been said about them, as well as their industry topics. And in relation to advertising, what we do is that we ensure advertisers are getting their money's worth, ensuring that their placements are running correctly. It's the correct creative at the correct time. And also for advertisers and media houses, we provide competitive intelligence. In other words, we let them know how they measure up against their competitors. That in a nutshell is what we do. <laughs> now that's a very niche market in the Caribbean. It is. And in Trinidad and Tobago particularly. Um, when you think about the 10-year mm. milestone that your company has achieved so far, what are some of the emotions that get into um, your head, your yeah. heart, you know. <laughs> well, a wave of emotions, um, obviously a great sense of pride, achievement, and it just gives me, you know, a great sense of joy and content to know that we are meeting a need, a requirement, even though it's very niche. What would have been your best advice you received back then in starting up a company like this? Yeah, well, the best advice I received, which was years later, it's actually from Georgina Terry, passion and profitability expert. And she advised that when you're starting a business, you should set aside at least one year of your salary as savings. Um, I wish I had done that. <laughs> but I have no regrets. I have no regrets. At what point did you realize that, you know, this was something that was going to be big, it was going to take off? At what point in the uh, company's business? I'm still waiting for that moment, to be honest with you. But, you know, I have seen a definite shift because when we started 10 years ago, people had no idea, you know, what was media monitoring or ad monitoring was about. Now, over the years, a lot has changed in this industry. Um, you've been through some highs, some lows. Definitely. Um, what gets you through everything? I think it's knowing that I have a team of many millennials. <laughs> And you guys are so, you know, bright and um, positive. And, you know, I, I like the sense that I think we have developed a family. So we have a real sense of family and community and, you know, helping each other out, especially during these challenging times. Now, this is something I should have probably asked at the start. Mm -hmm. Give us a brief origin uh, of Media Insight. How did the company come about? All right. Um, so Media Insight was a while in the making. I had gotten into tracking the playing of music on radio for royalty distribution purposes when I was the CEO of the Copyright Music Organization of TNT Cot. And I realized, hey, well, if you can track music, you can track other media contents. Yeah. So I started with ads, but the intention was always to branch out into you know, news, PR campaigns, social media, which, of course, we have done yes, in recent yes, times. Yes. Where do you see uh, Media Insight in the next 10 years? Yeah, well, I definitely see us continuing, you know, to break all the barriers, to really provide all that cutting edge um, technology and insights into to media. I'm looking forward to us being able to monitor podcasts, you know, as on podcasts and the whole evolution of technology, whatever is out there, I want us to be on the forefront, on, the, on that cutting edge. 